Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Tirta Wijaya. Welcome back to my channel where we will talk about various health matters. Today, we will talk about blurry vision in adults. Blurry vision is a non-specific symptom that can be caused by many different things. Some examples of things that can cause blurry vision are astenophia, dry eyes, refractive errors, cataract, glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, hypertension, stroke, or transient ischemic attack, then eye infections and contact lenses usage, pregnancy, then age-related macular degeneration, neurological and brain disorders, and many other conditions. Before I talk more about these conditions, I will briefly introduce you to the anatomical structures of the eye and their functions, so you'll know what I'm talking about throughout this video. This is the horizontal section of the eye, and that is the front part of the eye. And this is iris, from a Greek word means rainbow. It is the colorful part of the eye surrounding the pupil. It adjusts the size of the pupil to control the amount of light that enters the eye by expanding and contracting, very similar to a camera shutter. The clear dome-shaped part of the eye in front of iris is called cornea. It protects the eye from foreign materials and takes part in refracting the light onto the lens, which further focuses the light onto the retina. The space between cornea and iris is called anterior chamber. It is filled with aqueous humor. The lens is a normally clear and flexible structure behind the iris, which main function is to fine-tune your focus, directing the light from the cornea to the retina, either by converging or diverging the light. About 65% of refraction process is carried by the cornea, and the other one-third by the lens. Retina is the layer of photoreceptor cells that capture incoming light and transmit them along neuronal pathways as electrical and chemical signals to the brain. It is quite similar to the film in a conventional camera. The light travels from the lens to the retina through the normally transparent gel-like liquid inside the eyeball, filling the vitreous body. It is called vitreous humor, which function is to provide structure to the eye and protecting the retina. Anything that affects the transparency of the vitreous humor will obstruct the light from reaching the retina properly, causing floaters or blurry visions. And these are the optic nerves that transmit visual signals to the brain for further image processing. Now, let's talk about some causes of blurry vision and how to manage the condition. Number one, astenophia. It means eye strain. It causes blurry vision, photophobia or light sensitivity, and even headaches. It is the most common cause of blurry vision that happen when our eyes are constantly focused for a stretch of time, like when we are using computer or smartphone, reading a book, driving, etc. Asthenophia happens because we are staring at our devices for a long time, not blinking enough, not enough light, not using suitable glasses or lenses, too near or too far from the object that we are looking at. In other words, we overwork our eyes. Most of the time, what our eyes need is rest, sufficient rest. We need to take 20 seconds break every 20 minutes of straining our eyes by looking at something 20 feet away, or it is about 6 meters. During COVID pandemic, when we spend most of our time indoors, there were significant increase in myopia cases, especially in children. A recent study shows that the 2020 breaks benefits are even greater if we do it outdoors. So, in addition to this 2020 rules, children are recommended to get two hours of outdoor times during daylight hours. Number two, dry eyes. Our cornea is covered with three layers of tears to smoothen the surface of our cornea so we can see things more clearly, more comfortably. In addition to blurry vision, dry eyes may also cause burning or stinging sensation, photophobia, and watery eyes. The watery eyes in dry eye disease happens because our eye cannot produce enough oil for the other layer of tears covering our tear film. So our tear film 
consists of three layers. The outer part is the oily part. So our tear evaporates too quickly and our eye increases the watery tear production to compensate this. The dry eye disease happens when we do not have enough tears or when our tears evaporate too quickly or both. There are different conditions or diseases that can cause dry eyes and the treatment varies according to the causes. Examples of conditions causing dry eyes are some autoimmune conditions, smoking, diabetes complications, thyroid eye disease, oral contraceptions, allergy, contact lenses usage, some medications, etc. Treatments for dry eyes are done by managing the underlying condition and to ease the symptoms. For mild dry eyes, we can avoid triggers like cigarette smoke, the wind, allergens, or certain medications or whatever the triggers are. And we can use air humidifier, warm compress over our eyes, and do the 20-20-20 break rule. Sometimes over-the-counter artificial tears can help to relieve the symptoms, but they do not treat the underlying cause. Number three, refractive errors. This refers to the problems in the way the light is focused in the retina. Refractive errors include myopia or nearsightedness, hypermetropia or farsightedness, and astigmatism. This is the most common cause of chronic blurry vision in young people and adults. They are usually due to our eye shape, cornea shape, or both. These refractive errors can be easily managed with vision correction devices like spectacles and contact lenses. Patients can opt for a LASIK surgery too, using laser to reshape the cornea to correct the refractive problem. Another common refractive error is presbyopia or old eyes, which happen when the lens is gradually becoming less flexible as we age, with many people begin to experience blurry vision in their 40s. People with presbyopia find it increasingly more blurry to see near objects and near to put objects further away for clearer vision. The most popular remedy for this ailment is reading glasses, but there are other options as well. We will cover this in another video. Number four, cataract, which is the clouding of the lens, producing cloudy, blurry, or dim vision, like when we are looking through a fogged up glass windows. Many patients reported difficulties to see at night, photophobia and glare, seeing halos around the light, fading of the color or yellowing of the colors. Most cataract, but not all, take years to develop and most people have had at least one cataract by the age of 80. Most cataracts develop when aging process causes proteins and fibers breakdown in the lens, making it cloudy. As cataract grows, the clouding becomes worse. It scatters and blocks the lights as it passes through the lens, producing blurry images. Risk factors of cataract include age, sun exposure, smoking, alcohol abuse, obesity, diabetes, history of eye injury, long steroid use, and family history of cataract. At first, cataract can be managed with brighter lighting and new vision prescription, but the condition cannot be reversed. Over time, when many symptoms start to interfere with daily life, people can opt for cataract surgery. Number five, glaucoma. This is the condition when the optic nerve is damaged and dead, usually due to the increased intraocular pressure, which means pressure in the eye. Our eyes constantly produce aqueous humor in the anterior chamber. As the new aqueous humor flows into the chamber, the same amount of the old one should drain out to maintain the intraocular pressure. Increased intraocular pressure happens when the drainage, no, the drainage wasn't working properly, causing the fluid build up within the anterior chamber. This is called open angle glaucoma the most common type of glaucoma. Number six, diabetes. It is a condition characterized by hyperglycemia or elevated blood glucose level. While blurry vision in people with diabetes are often associated with hyperglycemia and reversible, 
Studies show that lowering the blood glucose level too quickly can make it worse. Thus, the long-term control of the blood sugar level is more important than glucose level correction. If the blood glucose level is not controlled properly, chronic hyperglycemia will damage nerves and blood vessels all over our body, starting from the small peripheral blood vessels in our extremities, kidneys, heart, eyes, etc. The damaged blood vessels in the retina become leaky, causing fluid or blood or both to seep out into the retina. Because of this leakage, some parts of the retina do not get enough circulation, causing new blood vessels in and on the retina. These new blood vessels can cause retinal detachment or bleeding in the vitreous body. Such retinal diseases caused by diabetes is called diabetic retinopathy. Diabetes can also cause lens swelling, making it difficult to perform its function in refracting the light, resulting in blurry vision. If the damage goes untreated, it may lead to permanent visual loss. This is why people with diabetes are recommended to get diabetic regular examination for early detection and treatment. Diabetes is also a known risk factor of cataracts and glaucoma, which cause blurry vision as well. In addition to that, some diabetes medicine can cause hypoglycemia or low blood glucose, which causes blurry vision too. Number seven, hypertension or high blood pressure. It can lead to problems that cause blurry vision and other symptoms. For example, hypertension can cause blood vessels clot or rupture in our brain. This is called stroke. If the clot or rupture is affecting the brain areas responsible for image processing, the stroke patient will have vision disturbance that may be caused by brain inability to receive the visual information from retina, inability to recognize and understand objects, inability to control eye movement like nystagmus, strabismus, ocular motor dysfunction, or dry eyes because of difficulty to blink adequately. Transient ischemic attack or TIA causes stroke-like symptoms but usually resolve within few minutes or hours. Both stroke and TIA are serious conditions and must be assessed by a doctor as soon as possible. Hypertension can cause hypertensive retinopathy, hypertensive optic neuropathy, retinal vein or artery occlusion, etc. Number nine, pregnancy. It may cause blurry vision in several ways. The most common cause is hormonal changes that causes water retention in the body, including in the eyes. This kind of blurry vision typically resolves within few weeks after delivery. But there are more sinister causes of blurry vision in pregnancy, like preeclampsia and gestational diabetes. Preeclampsia is characterized by hypertension after 20 weeks of pregnancy and proteinuria, it means protein in the urine, or other signs of kidney problem or thrombocytopenia, it means low blood platelet count or elevated liver enzyme or pulmonary oedema, it means fluid in the lungs or persistent headaches or vision disturbances like blurry vision. Gestational diabetes is diabetes in pregnancy. It causes blurry vision like diabetes do in general. Even though preeclampsia and gestational diabetes usually disappear after delivery, they can lead to serious consequences. Sometimes even death of the mother or the unborn baby or both. That is why they have to be closely monitored and adequately treated during the pregnancy. If you would like to know more about preeclampsia, kindly mention it in the comment section below. I will prepare another video about this if many of you ask for it. Number 10, age-related macular degeneration or AMD. It is one of the leading causes of blindness in developed countries, which occurs in people aged over 55. Current evidence suggests genetic susceptibility and environmental risk factors including increasing age and smoking. Vision loss starts as blurry vision at the central field. 
it usually happens during the late stage of AMD. People with AMD can also find it difficult to see in low light, seeing wavy straight lines or blank spots in their visions. Next is the neurological and brain disorders. Because visual signals from our eyes are delivered by optical nerves to the brain to be processed, any problem with one of these two components can affect our vision. Some examples including brain tumor, Parkinson's diseases, multiple sclerosis. There are many other things causing blurry vision that are simply too many to be discussed in these videos. For example, emotional stress, anxiety, fatigue, traumatic brain injury, eye injury, certain medication, etc. etc. They all can cause blurry vision. Therefore, it is quite difficult to diagnose without proper examination. Some conditions can be treated with simple prescription glasses. Some need close monitoring. Some need surgeries. It all depends on the causes of the blurry vision. Different causes need different management. It is advisable to do routine general checkup, including eye exam, to detect early any health problem that may cause blurry vision and other conditions and to do the necessary management of the problem. This is to be done even when we feel healthy without any complaints. If you feel that your eyesight is blurry and affecting your life, please get yourself an appointment to see an eye specialist to get the help that you need. If the blurry vision or other eyesight problem happens suddenly, they may be caused by urgent vision threatening or even life threatening condition. In such cases, we must get medical help as soon as possible. That is my sharing about blurry vision today. I hope you'll find this information useful. If you like this kind of content, kindly tap the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you have any health question, you can type your question in the comment section below. But please do not consult your personal condition. This must be done properly, privately. This is my disclaimer. See you in my next videos. Stay healthy and happy.